Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to be video number two in the series about animal location. Specifically, I've already done a video on small animals that go in your satchel. This one's going to be on medium to large size animals where the pelts will end up going on your horse. These videos are in preparation for the trader update, which should be coming out anytime today. And it seems like that's going to be more of a trapper update according to the Rockstar trailer. So I want to give a huge shout out to Hal Jordan Parks. Unfortunately, in the first video, I ended up misspeaking and giving wrong credit to the person that gave me this idea. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about are alligators, which you can obviously find very easily in the bayou, anywhere near the swamps. But uh, here are some locations where you can go ahead and find those, whether it's the American alligators or the regular alligators. So next, we're going to talk about black bears and grizzly bears. Most of these locations are going to be black bear locations. I will go ahead and pinpoint some of the grizzly bear. You can find some obviously in grizzlies around Lake Elizabeth. I ran out of highlights. They only give me about 10 that I can go ahead and mark on the map. You can find a grizzly in the tall trees area. You can also find some grizzlies a little north of Hanging Dog Ranch or Little Creek River. And I'm going to specifically go to this spot right there. A lot of times you can find grizzlies there as well as around the Wallace Station area. Now beaver, not too many spots where you can find these. The place that I like to go is over here at the Upper Montana River. Usually my go-to spot, but around Lake Owangila, there are plenty of locations where there are spawn points for beaver. Next up, bison, not gonna waste too much time. There's not really many spots where you can find these. You can find it around the H in the Heartlands over there in New Hanover, and then also in the Great Plains, roughly in that location there. Wild boar appear almost everywhere in the map except for New Austin. Uh, some of the spots I like to go to are the Strawberry area, specifically over here in Big Valley. There are tons of wild boar that spawn over there. As we move over to the eastern side of the map, this area near Blue Water Marsh and the bayou, there's plenty of wild boar that spawn there as well. All right, next, bull. Only a couple spots where you can find bulls. That spot right there. Sometimes you can find them. You can also find them over here a little north of Heartland's oil field. And if you get lucky, I have actually found one at Emerald Ranch, but I don't think it's consistent. That's why I didn't mark it on the map. So collared peccary, you can find basically in New Austin. You can find them all over the place, specifically between Gap Tooth Ridge and over near the um, hideout over there. And also up at Chula Springs. Cougar locations, I think we all know this because they are the money makers, especially earlier in the game. There's three spots in the New Austin area. You can't find one in Total Trees. Two spots over in Great Plains. There's obviously that spot over in Big Valley. And then you can find one a little north in Ansburg. There's also another one that roams around just a little north of where you see Ansburg on the map. And then next we're going to go ahead and talk about cows. Again, not going to waste too much time. There's about three locations where you can't find them. Emerald Ranch. The ranch that's a little north of the oil field, and then also the spot that is above the O and the wine at that ranch as well, where sometimes you can find bull. Now, coyote have spread all, all over the map. Some of the spots that I like to go to are over there near Blue Water Marsh. You can find them pretty commonly in Cumberland Forest. You can also find them in Big Valley, um, you know, Great Plains, Tall Trees, and you can also find them in this area here around Armadillo. Again, I ran out of pinpoints that I can mark on the map. So we're going to talk about white-tailed deer, meaning doe and buck. You can find these all over the map, over on the eastern part. You know, there's really not anywhere that you can go where you cannot find them. They're very rare. You can't really find them in New Austin. You turn into more like pronghorns and stuff like that. But all these areas are great. Big Valley along Little Creek River is a great spot to go. And then elk, another thing that we're going to go ahead and talk about here. There are quite a few spots, but they are kind of limited. You can find them north of Ansburg. You can find them in the Grizzlies. Cumberland Forest is probably my go-to spot. Also Big Valley along Little Creek River. And you can find them in Tall Trees and some other locations. Just so you guys know, I will be time stamping every one of these animals at the start time in the video so you can find them pretty easily. So we're going to talk about fox. You can find these all over the map. A lot of times they do hang out with coyotes. You can find them all along this area from Blue Water Marsh all the way north following the train tracks. You can also find them in those areas that I just circled over there. Unfortunately, again, I run out of these little markers to go ahead and pinpoint, but a lot of different locations where you can find those. Goats, not too many spots. Rascala Fork, there's usually two of them that you can find over there. You also can find a group of them at Emerald Ranch.
Next up, we're going to talk about moose. A lot of times you can't find these. There's not many of them. There's not many spawn locations. Here are the locations where you probably want to go if you do want to find them. There's a couple spots in tall trees. There is one over in Strawberry, also on the shores at Lake Owangila. And there's a good spot to find them up north of Ansberg. There's about three different locations where you can go ahead and find those. Now, Ox, not going to waste too much time. This location down near the Owen Lemoyne, you can find them sometimes. You also can find them at Emerald Ranch. There's another ranch that's just a little uh, south of the A in New Hanover. And then also just above the oil fields, there is another ranch where you can find those as well as bulls and cows sometimes. So Panthers, there's only a few locations south of Rhodes, over near the Owen Lemoyne, roughly where I have pinpointed here. This is where it will be spawned, but it does patrol this whole entire area here. And then also the last location over in Stillwater Creek. So pronghorn are up next. You can find these very commonly in New Austin. Uh, there's not really many deers that hang out there, but there are rams and pronghorns. You can find some pronghorns and tall trees. Also Big Valley, a great spot to look is a little north of where it says Big Valley on the map, just around the Little Creek River area. And that's going to be probably the best spot to go and find them. So ram and sheep, I'm going to go ahead and throw in together because there are bighorn ram and bighorn sheep as well as regular sheep. New Austin's a great spot to find ram and bighorn sheep. Tall trees, Big Valley. Once you go over to uh, Cattail Pond, also Cumberland Forest is a great location to find bighorn ram and bighorn sheep. And then also, you know, the northern part in Amberino. Now, if you're looking for regular sheep, you can find some in Valentine. And then you can also find some normally at that location, but I haven't found many over there in the longest time. Emerald Ranch is also a great spot to find regular sheep. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about are wolves. They seem to be the type of thing when you don't want to see them, they always appear. When it's a challenge day and you need them, they're never around. But there are plenty of locations on the map where you can find them. Cumberland Forest is probably my favorite spot to go ahead and find these. But there are plenty of locations around the map where you can find them. Here are some more locations that I'm going to go ahead and pinpoint because I forgot to. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this video helped. This is the second one. I've already done one on small animals that fit inside your satchel as well as their pelts. I'm going to be doing another one on birds and feathers all in preparation for the trader update. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.